Ready? Let's do it. Most of the time, U is your denominator. First of all, U substitution is necessary because this is very complicated. There's a lot going on here. So your gut reaction, if you don't know how to integrate something, is to start substituting. And most of the time, U is the denominator. It's not. It's not. Very quickly, I want to show you why not. So don't write this because it's wrong. If u was the denominator, then du would be 2x dx, and that's fantastic, but I don't want 2x dx. I want cosine of 4 over x. What? what? You want 4 over x? You got an x in the denominator when you really have an x in the numerator? No. 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 Don't play that game. So a different question is what's the inner function? 4 over x is the inner function. What about the x squared in the denominator? Sometimes it just sort of comes out in the wash. Not like we're washing the problem. Let's do a little rewrite on it. So it's really 4x to the negative 1, just for the sake of finding an easy derivative. So du equals negative 4x to the negative 2, which would, oh, dx, which is negative 4 over x squared dx. OK, let's start identifying parts. And you're going to see where this one's going pretty quickly. The biggest thing happening is that somebody got cosine, and if you want to say, oh, well, somebody got cosine and then divided by x squared, yeah, I'd say that. But the biggest thing is that somebody got cosine. That dividing by x squared, it's about to go away. Watch this. So cosine of u, you can't watch if I'm standing in your way, can you? And again, we're going to circle things. This is u, okay, taken care of so far. Well, what's left? x squared dx. Okay, well, we'll take care of x squared dx. But it's not x squared dx. This is actually x squared in the denominator. It's like dx over x squared in a sense. You could put this dx up here. It'd be dx over x squared. And so I need this to say, well, this. All right, and it almost does. Now it does. Okay, well fine, if I'm gonna go from here to here, there's my x squared in the denominator dx, x squared in the denominator dx, then I'm really just dividing by negative four, so negative one fourth du. Okay, let's do a little more rewriting here. So negative one fourth du, <clears throat> and that right there, is x squared in the denominator dx. Now, if you're looking at this and saying, how did you turn it into that? And really your question might be, where did your denominator go? Like you, you just, you're gonna get rid of your x squared in the denominator? Yes, because you actually haven't gotten rid of it. It's still there because x squared in the denominator, one over x squared dx is negative one fourth du. It's all accounted for. So we're just gonna keep moving with this. Antiderivative of negative one-fourth cosine would be, watch your signs, negative one-fourth sine, no pun intended, because the derivative of negative one-fourth sine is negative one-fourth cosine. And then we will take the u, plug it back in. So negative one-fourth sine of u, and then plus c. If you took the derivative of this, you would get what we had to start with very quickly with the blue pen. I'm going to show you that just for the sake of doing it. So the derivative of this, of course the c would go away. I would do derivative of negative one-fourth sine, which would be negative one-fourth cosine, keep the inner part intact, it's chain rule, and then multiply by the derivative of four over x, which we actually already did, it's negative four over x squared. So negative four over x squared. And this negative one-fourth cancels with this negative four and it would give me cosine of four over x times one over x squared, there it is. It works. It works beautifully. All right, let's move on to the next problem. I'm gonna erase some of this. I may not erase the whole thing. The next problem is uh, kind of tricky. And it's a lot of fun, we'll leave that. Okay, when I said it was tricky, it, I halfway lied. It's not super tricky. The denominator is u, all right? How do you know? When in doubt, try it out. <laughs> when in doubt with this, try out using the denominator as u. 
and it doesn't work in this case, but it does in this case. And, and so watch me closely here. Watch very closely, like put the laptop up to your face. So u is 3x minus 5, okay? Well, what you really have here, and if you want to rewrite this, you could, what you really have here is a 1 there and a dx there. And now I think it's maybe a little more obvious that your denominator is where most of the stuff is, the inner function is. So the derivative of that would be 3. So the derivative of u is 3 dx. I don't want 3 dx. I want 1 dx. Then I'll get what I want there. Divide by 3. 1 third du. Okay. I said it was tricky. It actually goes pretty quickly. <laughs> I'm starting to rhyme. Tricky and quickly don't rhyme, but whatever. The biggest thing happening is somebody got divided by. <laughs> Who did? You did. I'm not going to color code this one. 3x minus 5 is u. 1 dx is 1 third du. Lots of ways you can write it. I'm going to write it like this. 1 third du. We have encountered this in a previous problem, and I want to show you where it is on our little formula sheet from a previous lesson. It's the very top one. Very top one. And it is integral of dx over x, which is the natural log. Because the derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x. So the integral of 1 over x would be natural log, put the absolute value. So the integral of 1 over whatever is the natural log of whatever. And there's a little u substitution in there, but it's that. So 1 third natural log of u and then plus c. And then we're going to take the u, plug that back in. So we have 1 third natural log of 3x minus 5 and then plus c. Okay, I'm going to continue with the next two problems and finish them up in this video. The next two are a little bit tricky. I said this one was tricky. It really wasn't. It wasn't too bad. The next one is tricky. And uh, I know I told you that you're not allowed to do anything to the u other than multiply it by a scalar. I lied. <laughs> you'll see the structure of this and you'll see how it kind of works like this. So the integral of x plus 2 over x minus 4. Okay, we actually have a couple options here. I'm going to erase that in a second. We have a couple options here. Most of the time I'm going to say that u is the denominator, and it is. So let's just say that u is the denominator, and that gives me x minus 4. So du would be 1x, 1 dx. And so as I continue to rewrite this thing, we're going to encounter some problems with it. So the biggest thing happening is that somebody got divided by, and who did? Well, you did. So there's that. And then, we'll keep going here. Um, the numerator is, oops, I left off the yeah. x there. Sorry about that, kind of important. Um, the numerator, I needed to say x plus 2, and it doesn't but I can force it to say what I want it to say, like interrogating it, waterboarding it or something. I can force it to be what I want it to be. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this idea, and I'm going to uh, kind of bring it over here, and we're gonna solve for x. So x is u plus four, right? Like if I added the four, x would equal u plus four, okay? Well, so the, again, the point is to take x out and put u in its place, and in this context, with this structure, totally can. Totally can. So no color coding on this one, but we're just going to have u plus 4. Okay, that's great, but it's really not u plus 4. It's u plus 4 plus 2. Okay, so add the 2. So u plus 4 is that x, and now we have taken out dx, put du in its place. We've taken out all the x's and put u in its place, and it may not look easier, but it is. Let's just keep working on it a little bit, and it's going to get easier. u plus 6 over u, and then du, and check this out. Okay, next step, do it in your head. Please don't feel like you have to write this all the time. This is u over u plus 6 over u, we'll do that, du, which is really 1 plus 6 over u, and then du. Okay, fantastic. So the antiderivative of 1 with respect to u would be u. The antiderivative of 6 over u, all right, you have a u in the denominator. It is to the first power. So it is going to be natural log of u, but there was a 6. There we go. 
someone's knocking at my door. I'm going to keep going. Um, so we're going to have u, which is x minus 4. And they're continuing to knock. Plus 6, I'll answer it in a second. Uh, x minus 4, and then plus c. And if you wanted to, you could say that this 4 gets absorbed into the c. I'm going to leave it the way it is. We'll do the last problem in a separate video. Let's see who's at the door.